Hello, my name is Leah, and today we're going to finish our braid bags. This is part six. We're going to start with the loopers. You want to fold them a half inch on the short ends, and then again twice toward where the center seam. I started with fabric B loopers, but I decided that I didn't like that. So I went ahead and cut out fabric A loopers, and I've replaced them for my project. We're going to top stitch all the way around the entire loop using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Using the looper folded in half, this will make a center crease. The center crease is exactly where we want the side seam to be placed. So take your bag, line up the braid to the side seam, and place the looper on either side. You'll notice that the top of the looper is at the top stitching of the bag. I have already pinned the other side, so I'm ready to sew. Okay, now we're ready to sew. We're going to move away the braid because we do not want to sew the braid in this. We want the loop to be able to secure the braid without um, any help with sewing it onto the bag. Here's the first side. We're going to stitch right over that seam that's on the short side of the looper back and forth repeatedly. I am sewing through the outer shell and the lining at the same time. That is also why the Peltex piece is much shorter than the interfacing piece. Here's the opposite side. Again, using that same seam allowance from last time on the short side of the looper. I'm just repeating that and stitching through the main outer shell part and the lining. I wanted to show you the braid bag strap um, and how it should slide through the loops. It should be just really easily um, movable like this. Uh, you'll also notice over time as you use your braid bag that the strap will become a little longer because the braid will become thinner. Take the lining out of the bottom of the bag. Open up the opening so that you can place your Peltex through the opening into the main part of the bag. Here's the Peltex. It's a little shorter so that the loopers will be underneath it. Fold it in half and slip it into the lining opening just like this. It should be a very tight fit so once you get it into the bag Open up the Peltex piece and make sure that it's fitting into your bag. The top of the Peltex should go underneath the loop stitching. Its purpose is to give your whole braid bag its wonderful shape. Make sure that you adjust here and that the Peltex is below the loop stitching. If it's not, it will make the bag bulky at the top. Once you have everything in place, tuck in the lining to see your bag shape.
This is the final step in our braid bag construction. We're going to sew the lining opening closed. You'll notice I'm using the machine, but you can hand stitch as well. That's it. Now we're going to place the lining back into the bag and iron it one last time. Thanks for watching. We hope you stay tuned for more at sospoiled.blogspot.com.